So let's talk about the COVID vaccine and emergency use approval. Lots of people are hesitant to get a vaccine that's only been approved for emergency use. And that's reasonable, especially since it sounds a little bit scary. But in my opinion, the phrase emergency use approval sounds a little bit scarier than it really is. So let's go into it. Normally, there's four phases of vaccine development. And full FDA approval typically comes after completion of the third phase. The fourth phase involves long-term monitoring of adverse effects from the vaccine, but actually takes place following official vaccine approval. So what is emergency use approval? Contrary to what some may think, it's not just simply throwing out the first vaccine that we could think of into the public domain without any sort of testing whatsoever. To get emergency use approval from the FDA, you still have to complete phase one one, phase two, and part of phase three, and have this data fully reviewed by the FDA. In emergency use, phase three data is not completed, which is the difference between emergency use approval versus full FDA approval. Phase one is testing the vaccine on a small number of humans, usually less than 100, and these people are usually young and healthy. The goal here is to see if people tolerate the vaccine in general. We will only progress from phase one to phase two if the data from phase one demonstrates vaccine safety. Then phase two tests the vaccine on hundreds of people of varying health statuses and varying ages. In phase two, the vaccine is compared against the placebo. This means that some people get the vaccine and some don't, so we can get an idea of the side effects that the vaccine may be causing. Both phase one and phase two have to be completed and have their data completely reviewed by the FDA, regardless of if you're doing emergency use approval or traditional FDA full approval. And if all that data looks good, then you can move on to phase three. Phase three is testing the vaccine on thousands of people. The idea here is to see if the vaccine is effective compared to those not taking the vaccine and to make sure it's safe compared to those not getting the vaccine. For emergency use approval, the data was reviewed before phase three was completely done. But there were minimums in place to ensure that there was sufficient data collected. First, there had to have been at least 3,000 people to get the vaccine, and the numbers exceeded that in these trials. And then the people that were studied had to have had at least two months of follow-up from when they got the vaccine to when their data was sent to the FDA to be reviewed. This ensures there was time for any significant side effects to develop and be spotted and be noted before emergency use approval was obtained. And we continue to have side effect monitoring and data collection looking for adverse events even after emergency use approval. That's where finishing phase three comes into play. And it's after phase three gets completed that we can have full FDA approval of the vaccine. So I know it sounds scary, but even emergency use approval requires rigorous testing and data collection. Getting an emergency use vaccine does not make you a guinea pig.